Hello everyone. Recently I did a video on uh, harvesting 18650 batteries, uh, lithium ion batteries from a, uh, from a new laptop battery pack and I got some really nice results out of the deal. Uh, but uh, one of the uh, comments uh, that I was, uh, you know, posted on the bottom of the video said it's, you know, they said it's strange that they all came out to 1800 milliamp hours. Maybe uh, there's something wrong with your test. You should check your battery cutoff uh, on your uh, IMAX B6. Now, look over here and you'll see that my results always came up with the same 1800 milliamp hours. So, you know, yeah, that makes sense. Maybe the cutoff was on the IMAX B6, B6 was set to, uh, you know, 18 hundred milliamp hour so I checked it and look what I found yep it was set to 1800 milliamp hours now this is a good thing because it won't uh, you know this is a nice thing because it won't overcharge the batteries if you're charging them and it won't undercharge them either because it's not going to their full capacity now the problem is that the way I tested it with this uh, setting on this uh, actual uh, charger on it limited the amount of discharge to 1800 milliamps for each battery and each battery actually gave me that much at least. So I'm going to do the test over again to get the actual true value. And I suspect it'll be much higher. Well, at least it'll be higher than 1800 milliamp hours anyway, because each one of them hit that no problem. So I'm thinking maybe they hit 1900, maybe they hit 2000 because they are 2000 milliamp hour uh, rated batteries. So uh, I'm going to take them and uh, test each one in the IMAX B6. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, the results for each one and label each one quickly and uh, basically go through them they're all fully charged right now and show you what the actual results from that battery pack were um, again i may set the value to something lower like 1900 maybe if they go to 2000 just to spare the battery from full charging and full discharging so uh, nice feature on the IMAX B6. Unfortunately, I didn't know it was on and uh, that sort of skewed my results for that test hopefully this will show that it's even a better deal than what I thought it was. I'm gonna go into the user set program here and fix that value for the preset. Let's see what we get. The capacity cutoff. Well, I set it to 10,000 as you can see right there. Uh, it's, so it's no longer gonna be a factor. Um, and it's set to off as well here. So uh, it shouldn't be an issue. Let's go to the uh, Discharge uh, lithium ion program here. So there's the discharge. Let's uh, check the uh, battery here. Make sure we got a good voltage on it before we start. Um, this is number one labeled battery. And let's see what our voltage on that battery is. I'll put it right there. 4.16 volts. So perfect. Nice voltage. We're not gonna go through the steps every time. I'm just gonna label them, show you the value at the end and for each cell, and then uh, summarize what I found.
Well, as you saw there, I got 12,144 milliamp hours of uh, battery storage on those cells. Uh, you can, you know, I don't think you can beat that deal for under 11 bucks, but if you can, do me a favor, post a comment below on how you did it or how it can be done. And uh, if I think it's uh, valid, I'll make a video on that as well. Now, um, again, all of these cells tested over 2,000 except for one. One had uh, 1,900 or 19, sorry, 1,999 uh, milliamp hours, one milliamp short of 2,000. Wow, you know, totally satisfied with that result. I was satisfied with 1,800 per cell actually, but now it's even gotten better. So again, if you're gonna uh, harvest uh, some unprotected 18650s, uh, that's definitely a way to do it, buy a new battery pack. Now I'll put a link to that battery pack at, at Amazon in the video description below. And uh, you know, you can go get it there if you wish. Uh, I will also put a link to my uh, equipment that I used on the, on this video as well, like the charger. Now, um, if you like this video, do me a favor. Click on the uh, like button here on the bottom right or the thumbs up button. And uh, that helps my video. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, someplace on the screen here, here or there, uh, there'll be a picture of me and that'll subscribe you to my channel and you can see upcoming videos as I post them. Once again, like always, thank you very much for watching. And thank you very much for your time.